my name is Kim. I'm with the Jack Richardson Company, manufacturer of Best Stretcher Bars in Kimberly, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to stretch some canvas. I'm using our medium duty stretcher bars. These are 26 inches in length. Uh, we just happen to have, I'll show you real quick, this piece of canvas um, that I'll be stretching. Knowing that, it's good because it has some wrinkles in it, and so I'm going to take those out uh, using our best corner keys uh, at the end. So what I'm going to do is put the corners together, the tongue and groove ends. It's going to be a nice snug fit. Should be flat on the back. Nice uh, flush front on the profile. All right, so what we'll do is we will check for square. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is we could use the uh, wooden keys to stretch that to adjust the tension of the canvas. Or what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use our best corner keys. This is a good size frame. It doesn't have cross braces. And um, because this has some uh, rippling in the canvas, I want to get that out. So I'm going to use our best corner keys. corner keys are now installed. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to put the profile side down onto the frame. So I'll be stapling on the back like a gallery wrap. Um, you can actually use your tape to make sure I have two inches, two inches, two inches. And it looks like two there. So I'm I'm pretty well set. So what we're gonna do also is that uh, we're, we have corners here. I've already pre-trimmed these. Some will actually trim off the dog ears uh, prior to stretching just to kind of take that extra bulk out, especially when you're making the corners. Um, there are a couple different ways that you can do that and I'll show you that once we get to making the corners. But to start out, you're going to need a hand stapler or a pneumatic. I have, you can pick up a regular hand stapler anywhere in the local hardware store. Um, so what I do is I just kind of start out by having one staple here, I'm going to reach across, and you might have to walk around your table, but I'm going to pull this fairly taut, trying to keep it center. Staple there. I'm going to lift and turn. You don't want to be rubbing on the table because you might uh, ruin the art or the digital print. And again, you can do it by hand or we get into canvas pliers. So what I will do is actually, I will draw the canvas. I'm not wrenching on it, I'm just doing a nice tight draw. It's just a tool. And then I'm going to lift and turn, and I'm going to get the other side as well. So there's my starting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work into the corners, drawing the canvas into the corner. I'm going to work this way and I'm going to work that way. So with by hand, I can just kind of feel what I'm doing. If you watch me with the uh, pliers, I'm ever so slightly and then I'm ever so slightly tipping it that way. So this portion is drawing into the corner. So as I do that, I'm going to just hold it down where I feel like the tension should be. I staple on a little bit of an angle just because um, there's le less likelihood of tearing the canvas. There's really heavy canvases. There's light, um, almost paper-like canvases. So it's just something to keep in mind. 
So as I continue, I'm working into the corner. I only go so far because I've got to make my corner. I need to be able to play with a little bit of that area. So now I'm going to start working this way. I try to have my work as even as possible, have it look just as pretty on the front as it does on the back. pretty nice tension and most of my wrinkles are out but not quite. I haven't done my corners yet. I haven't really pulled and then what I'm going to do is then uh, use the best corner keys. Okay, so, we, so we've got the corner down, right? So what we need to do is we need to finish stapling into the corner. So I'm going to continue to pull into the corner, get, getting the wrinkles out, if there are any. And I'm going to staple there. I think I'm going to use my pliers for here. Get it nice and tight so that this, this edge and this edge is going to be nice and smooth. I'm going to staple there. And then I'm going to come back around here. Staple there. Staple here. Pull. Again, nice and smooth. And then so there's it's going to be there. There's going to be a bump there, but you can pull that taut with your pliers, get that tucked under, and then you can staple that down. All right, so we're going to finish the other corners. So again, I'm going to bring this towards me. I'm going to wrap my hand around there, bend that back, and fold that over. It's almost like a military corner or, you know, bed sheet corner, wrapping a present. A lot of people compare it to. Um, The other thing to remember is always make sure you're going the same direction. I could have made a mistake and had one corner going this way, the other corner going that way, so just make sure that you remain consistent. You want to do the underneath first when pulling into the corner. That way that's nice and taut and you're stapling on top of it. So, this looks pretty darn good. Has a nice tension already. All the wrinkles are out, but as I touch it a little bit, I feel a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our best corner keys. I'm just going to open up the nuts a little bit. And I will take our half inch crescent wrench. And I'm just going to turn one corner nut this way. Just put like a quarter turn this way. We are opening the joints. 
hence the name stretcher bar. So I will continue to do this. You can feel the tension. It's kind of a feel. You may only open it up a sixteenth of an inch. You might open it up a quarter of an inch. But I think that what I did was really good. And sounds beautiful, looks beautiful. The back is nice and neat. And it's as easy as that.